Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 241. In this show, I need some help from my viewers, subscribers, and listeners, and all you people out there trying to decide what Bofang HT transceiver handheld radio I should get next. I um, let's, let's just go. Um, to Amazon, and I'll show you what the situation is. Okay, let me hit the right button here, and we, there we go. This is the uh, the radio I bought last year, um, back in August, and I did a review of this radio. I did a review of some t- antennas for this radio, and I've gotten a couple of comments uh, asking me to uh, review one of the newer versions of this radio because there's a, a bunch of them out there. And that's the problem is there's so many out there, I don't know which ones to choose. So I'm looking for inputs from my viewers. And let's look at the options we got that, that I know of. There may There's probably others, but here's a few of the options. Okay, we'll go to the next one here. And this is the... Bofang 2013 newest UV B5 dual band VHF UHF walkie talkie 5 watts. Now you can see that the look and feel, the case, the buttons, and everything is different on this one than the one I purchased. Now the question is is the operation basically the same? I don't know. If we go down and Look down here under description. It's dual band. It has the FM radio. It has emergency alarm. So all these things look the same as far as function. So if that's the case, other than look and feel, I see no reason to get this one. Okay, there's more. Let's go to this one. Here is the Bofang UV82. Two-way radio. Description sounds about the same. Let's look down here in the detail description. The latest radio to come from Bofang. It's up the bar on ham radio technology. Oh boy. Comes with a much louder speaker, one watt. More solid design with larger buttons. And a better antenna. Yeah, anything probably could be a better antenna than the original one. So that, yeah, it's a possibility. But I don't know if all this hype is real or not. Okay, let's look at the next one. So many choices. Now, this one basically looks like my original, except notice the display is white letters on black background. That's kind of interesting. So, I don't know. Again, kind of description is about the same. Now, this one says this radio has been the first UV5R to get a fully internal upgrade. Expanded frequency range, stronger antenna. What the heck's a stronger antenna? So, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe so. Yeah, let's go. There's a couple. I got a couple. Of, and I guess say there's maybe dozens of these new ones out there. Now, this one does look different. This is the Bofang GT3. 65 to 108 megahertz. Huh? I'm not sure what that means. It says a dual band radio. Well, if it's dual band radio, it's, oh, okay. It's just got the first frequency, which is FM band. And then it's got VHF and UHF, just like all the rest. So, again, it kind of sounds like the same. Now, this one definitely got a uh, different looking case here. There's little things on the side there. The buttons are different. So, it does look different. The, uh, the display is the newer, I call it newer, uh, white on black. It functionally is it any different? And now we're up to sixty-three dollars. 
I'll go back and compare the prices in a minute. We got one more we'll look at here. And this is really different. This is a BF888S. I don't even think this is in the same class. I don't even see any buttons on here. Oh, it's a UHF, VA, a UHF only. Okay, we'll take that one out. As a matter of fact, I'm going to close this page. I'm wrong. I don't want that one. Okay, let's go back. Okay, here's what approximately, I think I paid 31 something for mine. And so now it's 33 something. Okay. The next one here, which is the newest UB, UVB5 is $38. So it's a few dollars more. Going down the line, this is the UV82, $49 now. That better have something different. Uh, let's pay extra money. And then we go down here, and this is the BF-F8. And it's $42, and it kind of looks in the middle closer to the uh, UV5R that I have, but it's still $10 more. And then the last one we looked at is uh, the GT3, which is $63. So I'm looking for any insight on these radios. You know, is the G3 that much better than the UV5R? Because it's almost double the price. Almost double the price. So I'm looking for your inputs. If you got one of these radios, you know, please leave a comment or send me an email and uh, tell me what you think of it and, and why it's different. I'm going to do some more homework on this, but I just wanted to throw this out there and get some inputs, try and decide which radio I should buy for my next review on the Bofang Reader Radio. That's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.